Greetings gamers. Now a little while ago I got to head down to Microsoft Studios and try out Minecraft Legends and you might be asking yourself, hey, what what is that game? And I'm going to tell you, uh, as much as I know about it, I got about two hours with the game. This isn't a review, this is just a, a kind of overview of what I learned from playing the game. I'm not going to give it a score or anything, I didn't learn enough about the game to do that. But I did get to go down there and try it out. Minecraft Legends comes out on April 18th and it's a real-time strategy game set in the Minecraft world. Sort of. It's sort of a real-time strategy game. It's actually a little bit more like Pikmin than, say, StarCraft, because you're you're on the map yourself, you're commanding your units around, telling them where to go, and you have kind of two separate types of units you'll command. You'll command your golems, which do your attacking and healing and stuff, and then your Ales. Well I hope I'm saying that right. The Ales will gather your resources. Which uh, harvest stone, and wood and the stuff you'll need to build those golems as well as your other structures. Now unlike Pikmin, you can attack directly. Your character has a sword. You're this hooded rider just kind of sweeping through the battlefield swinging your sword around which is pretty cool. But the bulk of your fighting is going to be done by your minions. They do way more damage and you're just not going to get very far assaulting your opponents by yourself. Your golems of course have various abilities. The wood ones are ranged. They shoot arrows. They're better against units whereas the stone golems are melee units that are better against structures. In the single player campaign you'll be up against piglins that are invading the overworld from the nether. I should point out that this game takes place before Minecraft Steve's adventures in Minecraft. It's kind of a Minecraft of yore or a Minecraft legend if you will. Anyway in these days of yore there are these piglin overlords I guess you could call them. They're kind of gathered around this battle table. Let's call them pig lords. We'll call them pig lords for the purpose of this video. Anyway, the pig lords kind of have their sights set on conquering the overworld and they're sending in the piglins and maybe that's why things are more violent in these in these olden times because maybe in present day Minecraft these pig lords aren't around. Maybe we stop them or imprison them or destroy them. I don't know. Anyway, the pig lords send in their piglin minions to the overworld and it's up to us to stop them. There were two ways you did that in the demo I played. Basically, the first one was you defend a, a village full of villagers from a piglin onslaught, and then you can upgrade the structures and stuff, kind of a, almost a horde mode. And then the second thing you could do is go out into the world and find and destroy the piglin bases. As I progressed, I was able to unlock new kinds of golems, new types of buildings, better tech, that sort of thing. I was also able to, in the final battle of the demo, rally just kind of creatures of the overworld to my cause that I had not constructed. So it's, the golems were creatures I had constructed, but there were also just like skeletons and creepers wandering around in the final battle against the nether portal. And I could just kind of wave my flag around, call them over, and send them into attack. I did actually end up destroying the nether portal, which was the end of the single player experience. And I didn't know that because I might have spent a little more time exploring the overworld. Because the overworld has some fun little secrets scattered around in it. Like there was a wolf pack I came across that I could just kind of rally to my side by waving my flag. There's also mushrooms that give you a super jump. And one of the devs told me you could swap your mount out for mounts you find around the map. I think there was like a beetle and then like a bird that would allow you to fly. That would have been cool. I definitely, if I'd have known that, I would have spent more time looking for that. But I didn't find any of those. Uh, and then after the single player was over, we moved on to the multiplayer experience. All right, now onto the PVP section of Minecraft Legends. They did let us play a full match. It was me, Sohinky, Trisha Hirschberger, and one dev against three creators on the other side and one dev. So I'm gonna go into casting mode here and kind of give you a play-by-play -play of what that looked like. Here we go. All right, so I do apologize. I was not filming at the very beginning of the match, but we all started together, all four players on our team. We did have one dev with us, and we kind of assigned each player to do a specific thing. So, you know, one player, I forget who it was, was gathering resources. One was working on our tech. One was commanding our army. You do share resources and total army limit. So I can't build, like... 40 guys and then Zohinki builds 40 guys and Trish builds 40 little golems and we all attack at once. We share an army. But my plan was, but you can build as many buildings as you want. So my plan was I got out by their base. You could see that blue, those blue structures over there. That's their base. I got out there and I started just building towers all around their base. I'll be honest, I wanted to just tower creep up to their base and just put towers like directly inside their base and destroy them. Oh, you can see one of their players came out there. You do have a sword, uh, a sword you could use to attack here. And they came out, they threatened me. And you can see my plan basically is to, I don't know why I'm still swinging, the player's gone. 
There are piglins too. And oh, right there, the opposing player goes down. I get first blood. I think that was the first kill on the team. First blood. Yeah, so I wanted to get right up on their base, but you could see there's a blue area around their base that prevents the enemy from building right on top of them. I thought that would have been really funny. I didn't know going in that I couldn't build towers right up to their base, but I thought I'd still be really annoying and just build towers all around their base. Kind of a, a little bit of a Warcraft 2 strategy here. Um, however, I should note, you don't get a lot of resources, or I don't think any resources, from killing your opponents. So it kind of mildly inconveniences them because then they have to go back to base. But I don't think I we got a lot of resources or leveled up. You don't really level up your character so much as you just like level up your tech and stuff. You can see they're trying to counter me here by building their own uh, towers. This, <laughs> this Badger 2 person tried to run past the blockade and escaped effectively. I guess they their plan was just to run past the... Uh, the blockade, but you can see they're still getting hit by arrows from my team, and now I'm going to harass and try and go in for the kill. Um, they do need to change the color of the cloaks. Hopefully they do that before the game launches. Uh, but yeah, so you can see I drove them back to their base there. They they are gathering some army. Uh, they are gathering... Yes, yeah, so you can see Badger 1 is gathering some golems to attack me. They have gone down. They led that attack right into my tower fortifications. <laughs> Your opponents are scrambling to defend their base. <laughs> however, uh, however, defenses. their units did do some you damage to my iron. towers. It's a very useful resource. You could see me trying to spawn. I'm trying to spawn in my own army, guys, here. I just thought, I know I'm not supposed to be commanding the army, but I'm like, hey, they're building towers to try and counter my tower attack, so I should do something about that. So... <laughs> My plan is to get a couple of these little wooden golems, which I, sh I should have gone for stone golems, and then I could have taken down the tower easier. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe we were... You can see I'm gathering some ore there. Just laying down some more resource gathering. Allies? Allies? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm trying to get some resources gathered, because we each now. have our own this will help allies. Allies. I don't know. A I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say allies. I'm not sure if I'm right. But we each have our own allies. So that's not something we share. So you should always be gathering resources if you can, or have your alias gathering them for you. We're gonna try and take that in this tower. Again, I should have built stone golems for this task, but hey, we did. We took down their tower. It was a good plan though. You can see my, a pretty threatening wall of towers there from me. And you can see now I'm trying to build a, I believe it was, okay, it's called a carpenter hut. And basically that, is supposed to repair damage. units nearby so I'm basically trying to get my towers in auto repair mode you can see a swarm of golems now being unleashed by the blue team but man those golems are really unfocused they might have lost their leader I didn't see their leader might have went down fairly quickly or maybe they just oh wait here comes here comes someone to rally them looks like I am trying to build a stone spawner but we might be low on stone and hey, okay, they've gotten behind. I just now noticed that they've got a bunch of stone golems back here attacking my carpenter workshop. Trying to take down my uh, building that's healing my other buildings. And it's actually night piglins. Where are stronger piglins during the night? Wow, I didn't even notice those guys during the match. Uh, night piglins. So I'm kind of trying to kite them around. Try and let my towers do some damage. But I really got to do something about those stone golems or my workshop will go down. You can hear it. It sounds like they took down the workshop or one of my towers. They did not like having that workshop that close. It was pretty obvious. You can see that blue area. I really want to encroach on it, but the game won't let me. <laughs> Probably a good move by the devs to not let me do that. More towers going up for me. You can see some of those golems still going to work on my towers. Those golems before when they were attacking my workshop were kind of using the workshop as cover to attack my towers, which was pretty smart, actually. Okay, now they're leading an attack. They're going to try and take down these towers. I think the smarter thing to do would just be go around if they could. Uh, just ignore my towers because, hey, they got one of them. Because, again, killing their leaders their players doesn't grant me much of anything it just annoys them and makes them go back to start 
Which, whereas killing their units, like they're sending units to attack, and those units do cost money. Although my tower, er, I'm sorry, they cost resources. My towers cost resources too, though. So, trying to rally. I looks like I spawned a few little wood golems in here, and we're moving in for a flanking attack while they're focused on the towers. Pretty successful flanking attack. I'm not sure why I backed off there. Oh, I'm going to get more units. I'm going to try and take Your out these stone golems. To gather redstone. Your opponent's base is taking damage. Yeah, so they're Your getting redstone, which is redstone. kind of oh, bad for us. because. Oh, well, you'll see. <laughs> okay, I'm getting a replacement workshop down since they blew up my last one. And keep in mind, while all this is going on, my teammates are gathering resources, uh, building up the army, taking down piglins, stuff like that. Oh, they're behind us again. Yeah, they're sneaky. They'll, they'll come in from behind. But again, my tower is doing a lot of work. Throwing that those arrow storms down on my opponents. And there we go. Another kill. Another kill for Team Lasercorn, as I like to call our team. Again, these stone golems are much better against buildings than players. And again, they're going straight for my workshop. Trying to take that down. Sneaky, sneaky. Team Alpaca. Oh, wait, no. Alp Alpaca might be our team. No, no, that's an enemy team. That guy's got a blue outline. So, the attempt to take down my workshop was unsuccessful that time. I can't really see the health of my buildings. Although, I think... I believe that when they there's that kind of those white shadows on them, kind of like the snowflake things, that means that they are within range to be repaired by my workshop. Or being repaired. I'm not sure which. Look out, your defenses are under Alright, I've decided to go in for an attack here. I've gathered up some stone golems. I think I just found these guys lying around. I'm like, well, if I, my teammates aren't using these guys, I'm going to take them in and have them attack. So I just sent them to attack the tower on their wall. And it's pretty nice. While they're attacking that tower, I'm back here building more of my own towers. Just keeping them hemmed in. You can see I've even got some towers scattered through on the right side of their base there. Just in case they try and sneak out that way. Yeah, and in fact, they just took one of them down. Now you can summon so they're probably using that side, that less heavily fortified side area as their way to escape the base when they want to get out and gather resources. Because they're successfully gathering resources, so they're definitely outside their base. But they're also, I'm also keeping their attention here a little bit with all these towers and, and of course, the workshop. I'm trying to get some guys over here to help me clean up these stone golems that are basically in my freaking workshop. The opposing base is taking some damage. Nice. Yeah, we cleaned the him up. There we go. Taking some damage. It looks like my golems that I sent to attack are still attacking. So they're pretty resilient against uh, the arrows of the towers. I was trying to build a wall there. or Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to build a ramp so I can put towers up top. But I can't quite get it figured out to where I need. You could build like ramps and stuff. I thought if I took the high ground and built some towers up there, that would be even more annoying. My plan is just basically to be annoying. You can see immediately, as soon as they come outside their base, they're bombarded with arrows. Your structures are being attacked. Okay. So I think that was just some of my towers taking damage. I don't think that's the home base. But yeah, we cleaned up that attack pretty easily. The other team now has the ability to mine redstone. Oh, but you saw that they have some sort of uh, catapult or something as a result of them mining redstone. And now they are just taking me apart. Uh, my workshop, get went, my carpenter hut went down. We're just in a lot of trouble right now. Basically, I, it can outrange my towers and I just have no way of stopping it. It's like a catapult in Warcraft 2. There's a piglin base over there. All right, I found some guys just kind of laying around out here. Sitting on their butts, so I'm going to gather them up. We're going for a counterattack. And I bl oh yeah, you can see those catapults. I well, okay, here's I uh, yes, I remember what I'm doing here. I'm trying to lead these guys in here to take out wherever this catapult is. I'm trying to find it, locate it and destroy it before it destroys all my stuff. However, they have a bunch of towers in here too and I'm taking a lot of damage. 
so I can't stay in here that long. Spawning a bunch of iron yalums right now. Spawned army full. Once it gets to full, we're taking them in. Let's go. Game plan's pretty simple. If they're gonna attack my towers, I'm just gonna roll over their base. You can see, I think that other player that's on our team is so hinky. So my plan was just to send them all in and then go get even more. And send those ones in too. That's an enemy opponent's try probably trying to head to my base and do some damage to our base. The opposing team just built a redstone launcher. That thing is formidable. Okay, they have a redstone launcher now. This is where things kind of get bad for us. We're attacking their walls. Your base is under attack. The stone golems are really going at those walls. You can see the stone walls are being blasted away. Uh, meanwhile, our base is taking a lot of damage. I believe they got one of those redstone launchers uh, outside our base and are just damaging our base a lot. Trying really hard to take down those walls. Trying to usher them forward. It does look like they're being repaired, though. Night piglins are back. And we've made a hole in their wall. So we're going to lead all of our troops into the base. Our base is in a lot of trouble. But we have a pretty huge... Our base is down to literally 30% right now. There's a still at 72, but we've just led all of our golems in here. And we're going straight for their nexus. I don't know what that iron thing was about, but you can see they're down to 21. It's it's pretty even right now. Now they're dropping. And we have taken them down. So pretty interesting little PvP game there. I hope you enjoyed this sneak preview of Minecraft Legends. The game comes out April 18th. I think it's like 40 bucks on PC, and if you have Game Pass, it's free, so that's nice. And that about wraps it up, so if you want to see another game preview, I've got Diablo 4 over here, or if you want to see what we're doing over on Ogsog with me, Sohinky, Jovenshire, and Mari, um, you could check that out over here. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.